Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I do all kinds of videos, vlogs, lifestyle videos. Today I'm going to be showing you my yoga routine. All you're going to need is a mat. This is usually what I do before or after a shift. It helps me a lot with easing my anxiety and just having an overall release. Don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jasmine's. And let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start in child's pose. Big toes to touch with knees spread out. Reach forward to the front of your mat. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Don't forget to reach forward to the front of your mat. This is a really good stretch for your shoulders and for your hips. Breathe in and out. Now we're going to take it into cat cow. This is my favorite part of the workout because it gives you the freedom to move your body in the most organic way. So feel free to move in figure eights, stretching out your neck, your hips. Moving to cat and cow. Rolling out the neck, elongating the spine. Take a few more variations of your cat and cow. Then we're going to move into downward facing dog. Press your palms into the mat. Feel free to walk out your downward facing dog to stretch out your calves. Step or jump to the front of your mat and go into forward fold, halfway lift, with hands on your shins or your thighs, going into tree pose, bringing arms to heart, another round of tree. Going into cactus pose, bring your arms back to stretch out your back and forward fold. Feel free to give a generous bend to your knees. Jump back into your chaturanga. We're going to meet in upward facing dog and going back into downward facing dog. And I'm just walking out my downward facing dog here because it feels good. And feel free to do whatever your body feels good in. Holding it in plank and going back to downward facing dog. Bringing your right leg up outside of your right arm, bringing it back up again bringing it to chest, bringing your leg back up, and to the left elbow, holding it back up, and stepping it through into runner's lunge, bringing it up into warrior one, To warrior two and just your footing. I want to bring your back foot to the mirror and your front foot forward, windmilling your arms down 
and into your chaturanga. Meet an upward facing dog. Left side, bring your left foot upwards, bring it through to the right outward arm, bring it up, bring it to chest, back up, and to your left arm, and back up. Stepping it on through runner's lunge and bringing arms up into warrior one. Additionally the left or the right foot is going to be stepped back but you can also leave it up if you'd like. You're going to go into warrior two. Adjust your footing however feels most comfortable. And windmill your arms down into your chaturanga. Meet an upward facing dog. And a downward facing dog. You can do it again. Right leg lifts forward to the outward arm. Stepping the leg into pigeon. The sitting pigeon is the most beneficial in stretching you out, especially stretching your hips out. You could also go into sleeping pigeon, bring your forehead to the mat. Breathe here, bringing it back up into sitting pigeon, holding here, bringing that right foot up, back into plank, and downward facing dog, bringing the left foot up now, stepping it to the left elbow, bringing it to the middle. One more time with the right elbow. Now you're going to step it all the way through into pigeon. First going into sitting pigeon. And into sleeping pigeon if you like. Bring the forehead to the mat, inhaling, and exhale. Rocking your forehead side to side if you'd like, bringing it back up into sitting pigeon, rocking it there if you'd like, and bring that foot back up. You're going to go back into plank. into your general. Going to child's pose to stretch out those shoulders, big toes to touch, knees spread apart, and flowing to your downward facing dog. Want your heels to touch the mat. Jumping or stepping forward, I like to go into this stretch. Swing side to side to open up the hips. And if it's in your practice, I know this took me a really long time and it still isn't perfected, but you can go into crows. So my form's kind of bad here, but you're supposed to balance on your outer arms with your knees touching. 
If not, you can keep stretching in this pose and going back into forward fold, bringing it to chair, hips sit back, and back into forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back, lifting arms up, back to heart center. Breathe here. One more time. And going into cactus, bring arms back and forward fold. So now we're going to bring it to the mat. And I don't know how else to explain this other than your right foot goes next to your left knee and you're going to turn. to the right knee and you're going to turn to one side keeping hips forward and only turning your middle spine last we're going to go onto our backs Taking it into happy baby, grabbing the outside of your feet to stretch out your hips, stretch out your legs, take whatever variations feel good, rock it side to side if that feels good to you. Lastly, we go into Savasana, playing with the palms up, spreading your legs out, and just breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. It's important in life to be able to let go of what's no longer serving you. And to breathe in moments that may cause us stress. That's gonna be pretty much it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I just started yoga like around October, which is very convenient because that's when I started my new grad program and that's when I needed the most stress release. So I really like doing yoga for that purpose. Doing it before or after a shift is really beneficial for me because it gives me like that kind of release. Um, this is just my at home yoga routine. I just wanted to share it with all of you because I know there's a lot of people who are experiencing a lot of the similar like feelings that I have and I wish I had found this a little bit sooner. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next